countrymen by his resolute observance of Bavarian tradition. A unique sequel to the Geneva Conference, the International Conference on Peaceful Uses of Atomic Energy, is the first of its kind ever held. It's staged in the United Nations building, and Mr. Hammerschult, the Secretary General, was one of the first visitors to be shown round the exhibits. Whether he could grasp all the technical details, we can't say, but it's certain that he appreciated the significance of this great Atoms for Peace display. The mysteries of atomic equipment, after all, are less important than the power it'll provide for industrial and medical purposes. And if peace can be firmly established, the prospect for world prosperity is almost unlimited. The pooling of scientific knowledge would obviously be a tremendous stride forward. It's therefore fascinating to speculate on the possible results of this get-together by some 1,200 scientists. Representation was worldwide, and at least to a certain degree, the progress already made by leading nations has been revealed. The emphasis, at any rate, is on peace. <laughs> <laughs>